Well, it all started in a family holiday to Florida in 2002. Um, I thought it'd be fun to paint Jesus on a crisp and put the crisp back in the bag to be sold again and found by somebody. And it was found by a woman called Rosalie Dawson. From there, I kind of, I suppose you say, I caught the bug, I suppose. Um, a monster was created and I've never looked back. When I started in the beginning, it was mostly just food colouring you know, directly onto the crisps. But as I've gone on, I kind of branched out into actually cutting holes into them as if they'd broken that way. So I suppose you could say I've gotten more technically advanced. But the next step would be to buy a blowtorch for scorching directly onto the crisp. That's just a money thing for me. Although my work started out religiously themed, I've kind of mellowed out my old age, I suppose. I mean, I would still think it's very important to do the spiritual and religious stuff. I mean, that's predominantly what I'm about. I still, I now do other just happy little interventions as well, like I do, I do love hearts, uh, smiley faces, you name it. You know, I do it. It's not my whole life. I've got other things going on in my life. I mean, I'm really into music. I love reading. Uh, I'm a full-time student, although not for much longer. I'm going to graduate soon, so I'll start thinking about real jobs and stuff. Um, believe it or not, I'm a fairly sociable person. I like to go out with friends. I've got a normal life. I just, I suppose it's just when a lot of people will be watching TV at night for a couple of hours, whatever. You know, I'm I'm listening to the radio and I'm painting crisps. I mean, just the way I see it, I'm kind of providing a public service of sorts, you know? I mean, I just give people the vehicles for their own epiphanies because there's a certain kind of person who would see Jesus on a crisp, for example, like Rosalie Dawson, and, that, and I just gave her the opportunity. And crisps are not just a snack for me anymore, they're much, much more. Uh, I spend a lot of time keeping my ear to the ground, looking out for work that might have been found and posted like online or put in magazines and stuff, so probably that's the most time-consuming part of the whole thing. Anywhere I go, when I go on holiday or whatever, I'd always take the kit with me. Or at least a couple of bags just to put about while I'm there, because... I mean, there's no point in me just being the Dundee crisp gorilla, you know? I mean, that would be ridiculous. I sometimes think of my work as... Not miracles in themselves, but almost like they provide the possibilities for many miracles. And I think a life without that possibility isn't a life. So I, I think, yes, yeah, I think it's, I think it's quite crucial what I do. Personally, I feel it's more of a calling than anything else. Basically, until I don't enjoy doing it anymore, I'm motivated or I don't get that buzz that it becomes a chore. I really don't see an end point for this, you know. I love it. I get that buzz. I think it's really quite important what I do. And yeah, I'm just going to carry on until, until I don't know when.